The land of Amurar, close by the Levantine coast, trembles beneath the hoof and foot of your mighty legions, blessed Pharaoh. This region may be blessed with rare gems, but it is also rich with discord. Armed Hittites, led by the wretched king Mutwatali, once again seek to contest control of this land, rightfully ours. Captured spies speak of how his hostile bands are still far off to the north, and thus pose no threat. But is this to be believed? Wise is the warrior who does not drop his shield in battle. To quell such rumors of insurrection, you, our most revered pharaoh, Ramses II, son of Ra, have arrived at the fortress town of Kadesh. Already camps of two of your field charioteer companies have been established on its outskirts. But these are not all. At your immediate disposal are other veteran troops, namely the experienced troops so recently engaged near Sumur. But take heed. It might be advisable to delay deployment of these valuable assets until the need of them is most obvious. For wise also is the warrior who has a bevy of trusted troops to summon at the height of battle. Once the miserable foe has been vanquished, it will be necessary to revive the stagnant economy of Kadesh, so that it too will contribute to the glory of Egypt. Collect valuable gems and hire skilled jewelers to fabricate exquisite goods for Pharaoh's loyal subjects. Luxury items of such rare beauty will surely be in much demand. Hey guys, welcome back to Lives of Pharaohs. I am Sajuk and we're going to be heading into the Battle of Kadesh. At Kadesh. Kind of obvious. 1800 population, prosperity 20, kingdom rating 50. And there's a bit of a reference to that feature I was talking about in the previous mission about carryover troops. Right here, it talks about how there's immediate disposal of our other veteran troops from Samur. So um, at a certain point, we may be able to deploy these. Uh, as far as I know, it's only one charity company and one infantry company, the best ones. Uh, so we're only going to have four forts to battle what is effectively... A large invasion halfway through this uh, mission. Uh, looks as if there's not going to be too much here, just gems and all that. Continue on hard mode. Let's head to the city. Right straight away, loyal soldiers rejoin you. Your best soldiers from the previous mission wish to rejoin you. Build infantry charioteer forts for these warriors and they will return. Let's pause straight away. So we start immediately with a walled compound. It looks as if someone's already imported a bunch of chariots. We just have a look up here. There are uh, two infantry, or well, two charioteer companies already here. Uh, I'm just going to slow time down first before we... I'm not going to do it with the buttons. I'm just going to do it that way. So um, we have... It says two camps of chariots. I mean, I suppose the counter is that the forts exist, but there's nothing in them. There's only one... That's sort of three quarters full and one that's completely empty, so uh, not much we can do there. It looks as if there's some pomegranates that we can farm and a lot of gems down here. And of course, someone decided they wanted to put a bit of uh, marshland in, so there is a malaria risk here. Let's have a look at our resources. We've got pomegranates, it's the only food type, we've got water and irrigation, so it's okay. Um, there's tons of trees here. That, that's a lot of trees. Can we do anything with them? No. So, um, yeah, not much wood cutting potential to be found here. In fact, I don't think we're going to have many wood uh, missions where we can cut our own trees. It's, it's almost as if the, the Egyptians don't know how to cut timber anymore. Literally. Pretty much our only raw resource is gemstone mines. How much do they cost? A lot. We do start with 8,300. But we're not evolving them that high because our population is only, what is it? Um, Another 87 people can come out. We've got a lot of unemployment that we can get rid of. Uh, Prosperity is the kind of the difficult one here because we are going to have to make sure unemployment is under control. Uh, this is clearly where the battle is going to take place. Now, it is a timed mission. If you look up there, it says months to complete mission 72. Now, again, this is like with the Tut in the Valley. We've got to meet our goals before that runs out of time. The battle will happen within about a year of starting the mission. I think it's one and a half years. We're going to get noticed, uh, a notification halfway through this year about the battle next year is when we fight it. After that, we've got the time to complete the mission. Um, only shrines and temples and only gods are Osiris and Ra. So no festival squares. We can't hold festivals, which is very annoying. Uh, we do have defensive structures, but it's only walls and gatehouses. Again, no towers, which is not very useful. Can't build our own weapons if we imported copper, but we're not going to do that. 
Uh, no taxation either, so that's not very really useful. Basic entertainment facilities as well. Uh, let's have a look at trade. So we're here at Kadesh. We are playing as Ra Pharaoh Ramses II, so that's why we are Pharaoh on this one. Uh, I don't think we have personal savings, do we? Oh, we do! We have personal savings of 147 demons. Um, I'm not going to waste time with that because it's just a waste. Uh, but we are playing as Pharaoh uh, Ramses. So what trade savings have we got? We've got Sumer, which is very cheap. They sell wood and copper, which we're not going to do. They also buy pomegranates. I suppose we could sell that because I don't think we have many exports on this one. Jericho here sells pottery. They also buy pomegranates and jewellery. Mikdol, or Mikdol, or Pelusium, if you want to know it that way. Uh, it sells chariots. Not very useful. They do buy wood. They don't buy anything that we can make, so we're not going to waste time with them. Menefer buys luxury goods. Timna buys luxury goods, so pretty much luxury goods and pomegranates are our exports on this one. Not much to the south of us, unfortunately. So, um, I could import copper, but it's not worth it. If we have a look here, copper imports for 240. I know, yeah, one 240, we sell for 275, that's like 35, that's not worth it. That's only just a little marginally better than fish, but we can't sell fish. So we are going to just sell luxury goods. And pomegranates. We've got nothing else to really do. Uh, we are going to have to put down some stuff to make sure we can evolve these houses. We don't need to go too far with the evolution, just basic level of housing. Even an ordinary cottage would be fine. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and set up our area. We're going to go and put down some gem mines, start getting that going. Also put down some additional pomegranate farms. Wall of these poxy uh, lions as well will help. And yeah, I'll just come back in once I've done all that. Okay, so we have set up our gems industry. We've got eight gem mines right here. Now I can put down maybe another one or two just in this space here. And that should be all we'll ever need because we don't need to export too much. Uh, I've gone ahead and just filled out a few more houses in the gaps. Also put down a couple of things that were missing like the physician and this apothecary. I've also gone ahead and put down a bandstand. Now I don't think we're going to need too much more housing than this. Uh, we only need to get uh, 1,800 people. And we know that we could get nearly 2,000 with just ordinary cottages. So if I just fill out this this loop, it should be fine. Over here I've put down a bunch of farms. Um, I'm not too sure if I'll get farms on this really fertile bit, if they can touch these houses or not. If not, that's fine. Um, I will just try to fill out as many farms, because we are going to just export this, because uh, there is no value in... because um, there's no other exports. I mean, it's literally just luxury goods and pomegranates. That's all we could export. Now, we have spent up pretty much all of our starting funds. Now, I would presume to assume that we would get uh, some sort of rescue funds on this map because if we didn't that would be really annoying. Now we have quite a number of farms, that will take down a lot of our unemployment. It's now down to just 34 people which is 11% which is better and luckily we don't have any more. It's just actually just lower taxes to zero. We can't pay tax anyway so there really is no point having a tax rate on this one. Now there should be enough coverage here for these things that they shouldn't have any problems. I have put down that there. Now, the houses will eventually evolve. I will put down additional desirability later, but for now this is more than what we can do. I've also gone ahead and just blocked in these lines just to stop them having any problems. It should be fine, but we'll see. Now, the additional troops that I'm going to get are one charioteer and one infantry. And I'm probably just going to dump them down here at the time when I need them. I'm not going to put them down right now because they will get whittled down with bad end uh, stuff, so we're not going to do that. Uh, so I will just make sure that we can... Um, handle that. Now the kingdom rating is a bit of a problem. It requires it to be 50. So we're not going to be able to be in debt for a long time. We can't take sa savings if we need to, but I'd rather not do that. There are requests after the um, the the main attack that you have to play as part of the story. And after that, most of those requests are just pretty much to get your kingdom rating up. And they're really silly requests, just for stupid stuff, just to give you something to get your kingdom rating up. So we have these gem mines, we'll let them get stockpiled, we'll let all these guys evolve. And that should give us all the people that we're ever going to need to staff our jewellers, because that's our primary export pretty much. So I'll just come back in if anything of interest happens. At this point we are just waiting for people to move in and set up our industries. And what was that I said about the invasion being called fairly early? There you go, May 12th, 76 BC, this is about 
five months into the mission, and straight away we're being told that in one year we're going to be attacked by a Hittite army. Now, it's actually a triple invasion. Um, they're, they're small invasions, but they are a, a large set of invasions. We're going to have to fight all of them and hope the city doesn't get destroyed. Um, we do have enough troops. Um, we've just got to death. We only got 1,500 rescue funds, and that was just building out all of this. Um, I just had to put down some houses here just because this farm wasn't getting access to these houses up here, so that's fine. So we do have, we'll have two fully staffed uh, charioteer companies here. And then at the most appropriate moment, I'll put down the, the three troops that we get from the previous mission. Um, I do know that there is a bug with this mechanic. If I were to reload the mission right now and reload a save, um, I will not get carryover troops. So basically I have to do this in one sitting or I have to start the whole mission over. And I have to actually start it from Sumer, reload the whole Sumer campaign and do it again. Otherwise it doesn't register. So I'm do I am aware of that I may try playing around with saves, maybe deleting auto saves will help. I'm not too sure how it works, but I do know that we may have to reload the entire campaign again, and I'll do that off camera if that happens. So these chariots are going in. There are so that's another seven five. So there is two there's more than enough there, so that should provide um, enough spares just for uh, any rebuilds and all that. So we've got our jewelers working. Our unemployment is still going up. Um, it is actually 15 unemployed uh, missing people, but that's not a problem. We have got these things working, so we can start to export that as soon as we get the opportunity. We're going to farm as many of these as we can because the more we can farm, at least we can export some of it once all the housing is stable. Uh, we are short on people. I mean, we're at 1100 and we're not even trying anymore to get people. I mean, we can just evolve all of this housing and we'll be fine. I mean, we're not going to go above Ordinary Cottage, there's no point. Um, I will actually put down additional firehouses because they are about to burn if we're not careful. So we'll just put down an additional firehouse there and an additional firehouse. Um, where can I find a space for this? Let's just put one there. So we are struggling with a bit of cash, but we have got the um, the workers coming in, which is helping with our employment issues, which allows us to start focusing on exporting jewellery. Let's actually just put down two more jewels. I know this is a waste of money, but we will be able to make that back very quickly. Just opening a trade route to Jericho, for example, we will be able to sell a lot there. So yeah, we've got the invasion incoming in one year. I will come back in once we're near, unless something happens, like a request or sorts. Okay, this is very early as well. We're getting asked to send some uh, luxury goods to Menef for 500 pouches. Uh, I did accidentally right-click that through, but we're, we're fine. So we're going to have the 800, the 500 luxury goods very soon. There we go, we got it straight away. So we'll just send that off right now. And that will give us kingdom rating, which is useful. Now that we've got that set off, we're going to send off all the luxury goods that we get from uh, these things. We'll just set them for next. So that's one, there's eight of them, so that basically makes 1,600 luxury goods that we can make from all the gems that go in. We've got more than enough gems, so we may have a bit too many, but that's okay. We can just dump that later. Now, we are still in debt, but it's fine because we're not at the end of the year yet. We haven't done a debt anniversary. Once that happens, we will be in some uh, trouble. But I think we should be okay with personal savings if we absolutely desperately need it. I mean, how many do we have? We have enough to set a generous gift. If I put down the Dynasty Mansion at some point, we could get more. So yeah, we're just starting to stop by the luxury goods as best as we can, and um, yeah, we've got space for another four of these. That should be another two uh, gem makers there. Well, gemstone mines, sorry. So yeah, we'll just keep on going, and I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. Okay, this is quite useful. Because we sent the 500 luxury goods to Menefer, they're going to give us 700 fish. We can just accept that right there. And one of you can just go and buy fish as well. So that's not too bad that we were, we were at about a thousand in debt, but we have opened up the trader to Jericho and we're now selling luxury goods. Even yeah, if we're only selling, say, one or two at a time, that's still quite a bit. And we're going to have a nice flood of them very shortly once they exit. Now, the exit point is just somewhere down here. Not connected, apparently, but that's not a problem. Uh, next hours of uh, pomegranates is coming in, that's useful. And we will accept that gift from. And then a fair very shortly once these uh, luxury goods are made, which are going to come in very soon. So we should be able to get out of debt before the end of the year, which is going to be great. And because we are feral, we don't have to pay tribute, so it's only wages. 
We don't even have to import anything, so we won't be losing money from imports. It's just a bit of wages, a little bit of construction, and we should be fine. I think this map was designed by the, the, the developer because it has been running. If you notice here, it has 24 months, basically. So they started it in 1275 BC and built all this, basically, rather than it just being placed there. So, yeah. So without a debt, not a problem, we can sell luxury goods every so often and that will keep us in the black. Uh, Hittite army is going to be here in six months, we're going to have to prepare for their arrival. And there's that gift. So yeah, let's just keep on going, it's only going to be the attack from the Hittites so we have to worry about now. Okay, so we're coming up near to this invasion, we've got lots of luxury goods getting made. As long as we're making a few every so often, we will be able to make enough money. Um, so there we go, there's another bunch of cash. Now, how much are we selling them for, actually? I'm actually interested. We'd actually sell them for 150, so that's not too bad. We've now got enough money to afford a single free fort. It does cost money to put down the fort, but you don't have to train the troops. Also, I noticed that this fort here is not completely filled, but that's fine. I'll also go ahead and just put in a few more of those, that's not a problem. So we're now selling enough luxury goods to keep us in the black pretty much all the time. We've also put down a few more houses. That's provided us more spaces, and that basically means that we can hit 1800 without too much effort. If we just solve some of this straggly evolution over here, it'll be fine. One month, and we're going to have to hope that we have enough troops. Now, we do have two full companies of charioteers. We're going to have to do some kiting tactics, I think, and just make sure that they don't destroy anything, because if we get uh, completely eradicated, we will not have enough money or time to win the mission. So it's going to be a bit of a speed up, I'm just going to rush right through it um, in terms of editing, but you're not going to, um, I'll explain the tactics later because it's too difficult to explain, um, it's quite difficult to do this battle actually. But we're going to sell luxury goods, that's fine, as long as we just keep selling like, luxury goods every so often, we can make enough money. Once that sells out completely I will just open up another trade route to someone that buys it. Probably Timna. I might even start trying to export luxury and um, pomegranates rather. Um, I think this is about as best as we can be. Here's the attack. I believe it's a double attack, so if we just click go to site of event, there is another one immediately. So, it's time to fight the Hittites for the last time in the game.
Okay, I think, I think we might have just done it. That was a shit fight and a, and a half. We have lost a lot of people. We lost pretty much all of our charioteers because the uh, charioteers are sort of grouped up. But I think, I just think we might have to do it. Yeah, we have lost a lot of people, but they are running off with their tails between their legs. All these people. That was difficult, right? So, if you want tactics for that, basically what you want to do is use your three charity companies and your infantry to deal with the, the weaker ones, so the archers and the infantry. Of the, once they are down, their charioteers will demoralise quicker. And just use your own troops to attack only the weaker enemies, allow the charioteers to be wiped out a bit more, and then just... Yeah, I will clear up this destruction. And then just use your own troops to attack the weaker enemies, so that when the charioteers decide to attack you, they will all be ready weakened, so it won't be too much of a problem. They will run off quicker. So we now have basically 50 months to get out of debt and uh, meet these goals. So our Arcadia rating will uh, go up because we will start to meet our requests and all that. We'll start to take down our unemployment. And yeah, we've got also a lot of luxury goods to sell. We sold out to Jericho. We have... So let's just open up this trade to Timna because they buy a bunch of luxury goods and they're cheaper. We'll just do that and we'll just continue to sell luxury goods. So we just about made it. And there was another third attack just here but it wasn't as strong. So good. We've recovered. We didn't lose too many troops. Um, and I just have to just see how much we can hold on to our troops until the end of the mission. Okay, I think we're about to nearly win the mission. Our prosperity is now 16. We only need another 10 people. We've got our kingdom rating where it needs to be. All I have to do is now just sell a bunch of luxury goods and we will win the mission. Because there's not too much left to do. Now, there are other requests that I may bonus highlight in the mission, but I will think about that. Um, if I want to, I will do that. But we have a bunch of luxury goods. We'll just sell off all of these and our, cult and our prosperity will be met. It is rising. We just need four more people and that's all. We've even got pomegranates we could sell if we wanted. So yeah, we will win the mission very shortly. That wasn't going to take too long. Uh, let's just take our... It's still going slowly up, but it uh, increases every so often. Two to three months, I think it is. Yeah. We just need to have a couple of people to move in and we will meet our population requirement. Money's there, so there's no problem. Our kingdom rating is where it needs to be, so this is not too difficult of a mission at all. And I'm just going to leave my troops as they are. They will just recover themselves. So we've got, we've got the money. We just need to wait. I'm just going to speed it up, and we will win as soon as the, it reaches a certain point. There we go. We just need four more people to move in, and there we go with one. Now, technically the mission is one, but I'm going to do a bit of a bonus highlight here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this run for another five years. Five years is well more than what this is. Um, but that is just to give you an opportunity to see some of the requests you might see in the mission um, if you haven't uh, completed the mission by this point. It doesn't actually take that long. It really does not take that long. Pretty much the only difficult bit is that battle. Once you pass the battle, it is a breeze to win the mission. But I'm going to go and continue for five more years because, well, we have won the mission. But I do want to show you those requests. Uh, because I feel it is important to show them because they do affect the mission effectively. So we have one. We don't need to worry about these goals anymore. We have effectively won it. And uh, so all I have to do is work out the unemployment and all that, which is not too much of a problem. I can just put down. And I'm not going to do too much. So, yeah, let's just keep on going. And I'm going to show you the various requests that you will have to meet in order to win the mission and show you another tribute that hasn't opened up yet. Okay, so here's one of the requests you may find yourselves meeting when you, uh, if you haven't won a mission by the point that I've shown. Um, whilst is in need of luxury goods, uh, 700 pouches, we have 10 months to comply there, we do have enough. By this point in the mission, you will be able to uh, produce more than enough luxury goods, and why is that set to... Uh, oh, interesting little thing, apparently you can't draw a salary because you're continuing to govern the, the mission of your own free choice, you're not allowed to take a salary, okay. So building a dynasty mansion after the mission has been won is not permitted, so we'll just delete it. So yeah, the last uh, request will open up a trade route there, they just buy more luxury goods. We are pretty much tapping all of our luxury goods potential. Unfortunately that request is a bit late in the, the day because by this point you won't have enough time to meet your prosperity rating anyway. 
and um, because prosperity requires um two years of profit before it starts to go up from a zero essentially but at this point we've got 10,000 so it's not a concern um, I'm not gonna wait, bother um, trading up any more troops we have enough because it is a distant battle a really pointless one but it will help with kingdom rating if you desperately need the kingdom rating uh, let's just destroy some of this garden and replace it with a large statue not like it's really necessary but who cares there we go so that's one request, um, let's just continue on with the mission and show some other requests that we might have to fulfil in this mission. Okay, another request, um, Manifair wants 1100 gems in 8 months, so that's an interesting request. Do we have enough gems? We don't, but what we can do is just set them to be stockpiled and then they will be in there. There we go, so there's 1100 gems, we'll just send that off, stop the stockpile. Yeah, so basically at this point, various requests are just going to come through for various items you can produce, like say I think pomegranates might be asked for at one point. Um, basically luxury goods and gems are what you're asked for, so that's what you should send. Um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and start selling uh, pomegranates, if we have any, we'll just sell one over 800 to make sure there's enough in the stockpile. Uh, why are these houses not evolving? Oh, it's the grand, that's fine. Now, if you, are having, if you are having trouble with unemployment, just take down houses or put down some industries, like a chariot maker, for example. Um, send off those luxury goods to WAST has opened up a trade route there. We'll just have a quick look at them. They sell chickpeas and pottery. They also buy a bunch of luxury goods. We'll just open that. And that pretty much is your capacity for luxury goods. It's WAST, Menefer, Timna and Jericho. But you don't really need WAST because you can uh, get enough of selling capacity from the other free trade routes that were opened by that point. So it really doesn't affect anything, at this point you are now just pretty much trying to keep... All these requests are for is just to keep your kingdom rating up. I mean it's gone up to 59 now, we haven't even done anything. So yeah, let's just keep on going and see if there's any other requests we might have showing up on this mission. Okay so whilst it needs us some pomegranates in 6 months, we could just send that off right now because we have a bunch of them. Uh, just after I cut it off, Men of Fair decided to increase the amount of luxury goods they sell, uh, they will buy. So we can sell something like 6,500 uh, luxury goods to these trade partners here. We didn't even need WAST. But who cares, it's luxury goods. As long as we're selling something, it is profit. I mean, we could sell like 8,200 odd in cash, and we're not importing anything. So meeting this prosperity target is not that difficult. It really is just unemployment that will be your, your problem for getting it under control. But I mean, I've already said that you can easily get it under control with just putting down, say, chariot makers if you need them. Um, if you also need to get rid of temples, you can replace them with shrines. Um, Jericho is in need of uh, troops in two months. Now, that is a very boring request. It's only a small force. So whatever troops you have, just send them. They will be victorious. Uh, so anything you have, they will succeed. Even if it's only like one troop, it will succeed. So it's not a problem. And that's just another kingdom rating boost. And this is a bit of a dick move request, this one. It comes in. Mechdal is blessed by Bass and they want 600 beer. Now you can't produce beer because you can't import barley, you can't produce your own barley. Now if I don't do this, my kingdom rating will drop for not fulfilling it. And fulfilling it requires me to spend money, but at this point you should have enough money that it's no longer a concern. So we'll just put that down there. I'm pretty sure we're already trading with someone that sells beer, so we'll just import the, the required amount. It was 600 if I remember correctly. Yep. We'll just quickly import that. Yes, we're going to send it away. Uh, Power Guard has helped WAS, so that's good for Kingdom Ratings. We'll just send that off very quickly. We'll just stop that import because we don't need that anymore. We'll just sell luxury goods again. So yeah, you're just going to get various requests throughout the mission. It's not too difficult what you have to send. We'll just put down another jewellery just there just to make sure that we can use it some of the supply of gems. Heroes are back. We lost a bunch of... Um, I know we didn't lose too many. That's not too much of a problem. So yeah, by this point in the mission, you are just going to get various requests. It's just luxury goods, gems, a silly request to Migdal, a distant battle. So not too difficult. We'll see what kind of stuff that does to our kingdom rating. It does quite a lot. I mean, that's up to 68 now. So it's not too much of a problem. So we'll just keep speeding on. Victorious in battle at Jericho. So, and our kingdom rating's gone up again. So that's up to 71. So not too much of a problem there. So yeah, basically all of the requests are not too difficult and a landslide as well and lettuce is being gifted to us we can just put that there and accept it actually let's not put it there let's just um, put it there because there's nothing being used in it now 
So yeah, it's just various requests. I don't think there's any more. If there are, I will just mention them later. So yeah, that's a little bonus highlight of the more important requests that will help to get your kingdom rating up if it is a little bit lower than 50. Hope it was useful. The hand of Pharaoh has once again beaten the loathsome Hittites. Great is the rejoicing for our most wise and brave leader, Ramses II. Your splendid victory in this hard-fought battle will surely be recorded forever in the annals of history. Indeed it will, and it's a little bit of a change to how it really happened because as far as I understand, Ramses II didn't actually win, it was more of a draw. They draw, drew a truce and decided to become friends, it wasn't an outright victory. Now I know it says here, because I know at the end of that cut just where I was showing a little highlight of the various uh, requests you might have, I know it says something like 20,000 but I just reloaded the save before we won properly and that's why it says mine's 245, it doesn't matter. So we got various very basic ratings. Not a good score, but that's not a problem. So yeah, that was Kadesh, the, the timed mission. That's one of the killer timed missions. If you're playing that mission individually, so you're not playing it as a campaign, you can't win it. Um, you can win it on very easy because the, the troops are very weak, but on anything above easy, um, so like normal, hard and very hard, you can't win that mission by playing it individually. You have to play it as part of the campaign to win because of the troop dip. I mean, we lost two full troop, come we lost all of our charioteers pretty much, and a bit of our infantry to that battle. So yeah. Anyway, that was Kadesh. If you want to head on to the next mission, which is Abu Simbel, or Abu Simbel, or however they call it, I don't know how they call it, click the card on the screen and you can head there. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.